All right, let's start with some breaking inputs, which have in fact just come in from Sri Lanka, where it appears that there is pretty much no end to the political game of thrones that is unfolding in Colombo. Now, two days after the Sri Lankan president, in a surprise move, dissolved the parliament and called for snap polls, it now looks like Mahinda Rajapaksha, the person who was hand-picked by Matripala Sirisena as the prime minister, is in fact feeling the heat. The Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapakse has switched parties and he has now interestingly obtained the membership of the Sri Lanka Porujana Perumuna after he gave up his membership to Sri Lanka Freedom Party. Now, this of course means that in the coming elections, Rajapakse and his supporters will be using a different and a new formation. All right, now for more of this, we are joined in by our correspondent, Ashwin Hematagama, who is in fact joining us live from Colombo. Good afternoon to you, Ashwin. Now, this, this is a bit of a surprise, a bit of information that is coming in from Colombo, where it now appears that Mahinda Rajapakshe wants to contest the snap polls under the banner of a new political party. What is happening there? Well, actually, uh, Mr. Rajapaksa, who is a Sri Lanka Freedom Party member, Mm -hmm. has uh, gone and joined a new party which they have created while they were in the opposition some time ago. This new party is called Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna, the SLPP, and they are using the flower bud as their logo. Now that they have created this new political party, automatically the membership in the Sri Lanka Freedom Party will cease to exist because according to the regulations of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party or any other political party in Sri Lanka, if you uh, obtain a membership in a different political party, uh, the membership will cease to exist. Mm -hmm. So after having joined this new political party, Mr. Rajapaksa was followed by uh, Mr. Mahinda Ananda Aludgamuge, Rohit Abegunavadana, Mr. Anra Pradeshana Yapa, Mr. Johnston Fernando, and of course his son, Mr. Namal Rajapaksa as well. So there were several individuals, those who joined the SLPP yesterday, and uh, they are all looking at uh, forging new alliance with many right. other local political parties for the forthcoming election. Okay, now, uh, Ashwin, try and help us understand this. Now, Mahinda Rajapaksa was in fact hand-picked by Maitripala Sirisena as the Prime Minister. He was in fact also sworn in. Now, it appeared that he could not perhaps prove his majority on the floor of the House, which is perhaps the reason as to why Sirisena in fact dissolved the Assembly and called for snap polls. But why is Mahinda Rajapaksa now joining a new party and why not fight it under the old banner? Because there are certain rifts uh, happening in Sri Lanka because certain political parties, especially the minorities, may not like to join and uh, go ahead with the Sri Lanka Freedom Party or maybe the United Freedom Alliance, the UPFA, mm -hmm. which is already in uh, parliament. So uh, this, is, this could be one reason that they are looking at uh, using the SLPP as a platform to forge new alliances. On top of these, uh, you have uh, two different political parties, the JVP and the, Sri Lanka, uh, the United National Party, along with uh, another individual looking at uh, seeking legal remedy to overcome what has happened recently. So right. these are the mixes happening now at the scene. All right. Now, this, 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 of course, is a pretty complicated calculus of the Sri Lankan politics and also give us a certain sense in terms of how some of these smaller parties are likely to ally in the coming snap polls, considering the fact that these smaller parties, in fact, will be playing a big role as king makers as to who eventually may end up getting the majority. Well, according to uh, Sri Lanka Elections Commission, there are 70 political parties which received approval and these 70 political parties uh, well not many of were represented at uh, the parliament last time but they do of course have a considerable stake in mm -hmm. the election so they will definitely uh, forge alliances with either mr ranil vikramasinghe's front or maybe with uh, mr mahindra rajapaksa's front so this is how it's going to happen